it's time to install the brakes and the motors on the 3D printed go-kart so I can give it a go. I'm going to install one of these bike disc brakes in each one of the rear wheels. I got this disc in here and I was doing some fit testing and I realized that the inner diameter of the bearing is way larger than this hole in here and also interferes with the mounting holes. So I went and bought this one. It has the same sized hole and the same mounting holes, but I can remove these rivets in here by drilling them out. And now I have lots of space to work inside. I still have mounting holes and a ninja star. This is the motor bracket that goes in here, but I cannot fasten this directly in here because this would melt, because this gets really hot when you are trying to go really fast. So I will need to machine an aluminum plate that goes in here. And just like that, the two plates are complete. If you want to know more about the machine that I use to make them, there is a link in the description to the video and the files. Now I need to assemble the motor on the plate and the plate on the bracket. And I, I just welded the pulleys to the motors because that's the number one issue that I've ever had with motors this powerful and pulleys. and both motor plates and brackets are ready. So it's time to mount the brake calipers. These are going to be placed in a pretty tight spot, so I will also machine aluminum plates for this, so I don't lose the brakes. That's... This is the left side caliper, and the cable comes out of this one from under the caliper. But the caliper for the right side is exactly the same, so the cable will come out from the top of the caliper. So I made this small aluminium piece in here to attach the cable holder in here, so I can use this one for the right side. Now that I have the calipers mounted on the plates, I need a bracket like the one for the motors to attach them onto the car. So I went straight to Onshape to modify one of the blocks and make a bracket for these ones in no time. Onshape is a professional CAD plus PDM platform for businesses that is accessible across all platforms because it works in the browser just like Google Docs. I simply open the browser and I can start designing the bracket right away. It is great to work in teams and to work directly with suppliers or manufacturers as you can now easily collaborate on the same document across the world at the same time because, and I truly love this feature, a document stays updated no matter where it's open. Onshape also includes industry-leading manufacturing specific features for sheet metal and frame-based design, as well as surfacing, configurations, detail drawings, 
and finite element analysis. And to make it even better, Onshape recently acquired a company called Cloud Milling, which means that professional grade CAM is coming to Onshape soon as well. I highly recommend the engineers and product developers watching to consider using Onshape for their products. You can try it for free at onshape.pro slash Ivan Miranda. And now let's see if we can put all of this in the go-kart. But before attaching all the brackets to the car, we need an axle for the wheels. So let's do that. Motors and brakes are installed. Now we need some pedals to control them. So let's start with the brake. Brake is on the left. Brake. Brake on the left. Brake pedal ready, time for the accelerator. I think it's finished. I wired everything. I installed a couple of batteries, but I cannot wait to try this thing. So I've made some space in here. So let's see what happens. This may feel a little bit overkill, but I've never installed brakes on anything before. So 
Better safe than sorry. I think I need to remember that it is wider on the back. I think it is a little bit too fast for indoors. Okay, I've lost a nut from the front wheel here. Okay, that was bad. Really bad. Still, it works. How did it come loose? I don't know. But well, we are at it. Let's fasten them up. Well, the test is over, what can I say? <laughs> it was really fun! There are a few things that I can improve. There is a little bit of understeer on the left-hand corners because the screw that fastens the accelerator pedal is mounted backwards, so it touches on the wheels, so now part of the screw is <laughs> on the wheel. Although the, the wheels held up perfectly, you don't have much grip and the brakes are useless, like, <laughs> it's so much weight and the brakes are only on the back, so when you press the brake, like, they skid and <laughs> almost nothing happens. The steering is still twitchy, the last time was twitchy because everything was loose, now everything is fastened, but I think you all are right, I will have to put a smaller gear in here, of course. And I, I did put it on the scale, it weighs 65 kilos, 95% of that comes from Polymaker's Awesome Filament, they are the Awesome Filament sponsor of this channel, and <laughs> this is just awesome, so go and check them out, there is a link in the description. And the front axles, Polylite PLA Pro, and they held up. It's only plastic, there is nothing in them, and, and the road is really bumpy here. And they are still in one piece, which is awesome. But again, there are lots of things that I can improve on this thing. I think it's way heavier and slower than Matt's. Remember that I built this to race Matt Denton, go and check his channel, also linked in the description. I think his go-kart is lighter and faster, but I can still make improvements to this. So don't worry, Matt, I'm coming for you. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons and members because this is awesome. And now please go and wait for it. Batteries are dead. Make something! <laughs>